FC Barcelona has won the Copa del Rey 30 times, which is more than any other club. But in the world of Liga titles and Champions League trophies, sometimes the prestige of the Copa del Rey gets thrown by the wayside. Only 14 clubs have ever won the Copa del Rey, and kool can't take those titles for granted. There was a time when the Copa del Rey meant more than it does now, but that doesn't mean we can't take a look down memory lane to some of the more memorable moments in the Cup's history involving the Bograna. Hi, I'm Dan Hilton, and this is the Barcelona Podcast YouTube Exclusive. Barcelona's first Copa del Rey title was a controversial victory at the time, as a disagreement between the FEF and the UECF led to two different competitions taking place in two different locations. FC Barcelona won the final over Espanyol de Madrid 3-2 in Madrid, while Athletic Bilbao beat Vasconia in San Sebastian. Barcelona's starting lineup was made up of eight Spaniards and three Englishmen. Nowadays, both are officially recognized by the RFEF, the Royal Spanish Football Federation. Barcelona won its second title in 1912, defeating Gimnastica, but 1913 once again brought two different competitions. FC Barcelona won the UECF version, defeating Real Sociedad 2-1 in the replay of the second leg of the two-legged final after a 2-2 draw in the first leg and a 0-0 draw in the first version of the second leg. Confusing, I know, but a third title nonetheless. The 1920 saw Barcelona win five titles in the decade, with victories over Athletic Bilbao, Real Union, Arenas, Atletico Madrid, and culminating in 1928 with another two replays needed to defeat Real Sociedad. This time, it was 1-1, 1-1, and finally a 3-1 win. Josep Sementier, whose 70 goals is second all-time in the competition behind Telmozara, scored two goals across the three games. German defender Emil Walter and Spanish midfielder Josep Satre were two of the other stars of this era. The 30s saw the Spanish Civil War and major changes to the country in all of Spanish football. Sevilla won the first post-war Copa del Generalísimo, as the competition was now called, in 1939. CF Barcelona, as they were now called, captured their first post-war title in 1942 over Club Atletico de Bilbao with a 4-3 extra time goal from Mariana Martin. In 1943, Barcelona was defeated by Real Madrid in the second leg of the semifinals by the scoreline of 11-1. Journalist Paco Aguilar said that Barcelona players were threatened in the locker room, but this has never been proven. That group was unable to capture another title during the decade, but the 50s brought renewed success for the club, led by Mariano Gonzalvo, Cesar Rodriguez, Lazlo Kubala, Juan Segarra, and Anthony Ramayets. Barcelona won three straight titles from 1951 to 1953 and two more in 1957 and 1959. The 60s and 70s were dominated by Real Madrid, but after beating Real Zaragoza in 1963, Barcelona captured their second title of the decade by winning the first El Clasico Copa final with a 1-0 win over Real Madrid in 1968. In own goal was the difference. Two more titles in the 70s, 1971 over Valencia in extra time, and 1978, led by Johan Cruyff over Las Palmas, rounded out a tough stretch in the competition for the Bograna. After beating Sporting Gijón in 1981, Barcelona again met Real Madrid in the final in 1983. Led by Diego Maradona, and with Keeney coming off the bench, it was a hot-blooded affair with the winner coming in the 90th minute from Marcos Alonso, father of current Chelsea defender Marcos Alonso. Barcelona closed out the 80s with one more title against Real Sociedad in 1988. For all his success in the league and the Champions League, manager Johan Cruyff got his only Copa del Rey title as a manager in 1990, beating Real Madrid via goals from Guillermo Amor and Julio Salinas. An extra time win over Real Batiste in 1997 was up next before Barcelona won their only title through penalties the following year over Mallorca. Barcelona won 5-4 in 8 rounds, with Michael Reisiger converting the final penalty. Barcelona would have to wait more than 10 years before capturing title number 25. Pep Guardiola's men defeated Athletic Bilbao 4-1 with goals from Yaga Torre, Lionel Messi, Boyan, and Xavi. Guardiola got his other Copa del Rey win in 2012, again defeating Athletic, and this time by beating Marcelo Bielsa. Barcelona took home the 2015 title with a win again over Bilbao, and this time over current manager Ernesto Valverde. That 2015 title was the first of four straight and counting, beating Sevilla in extra time, Alaves, and last season's 5-0 domination of Sevilla. So there you have it. All 30 Copa del Reys for FC Barcelona in a competition that spans more than 100 years. If there's a moment or a match that you think we missed or didn't give enough time to, leave it in the comments and check our conversation out about the game next week on the Barcelona Podcast. For more histories like this and a whole lot more, 
keep checking this channel and don't forget to like and subscribe. Until next time, Forza Barca.